I'm Doug Oster from the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Welcome to Digging with Doug. And for the first time ever, we've got some sun peeking out behind my shoulder. Uh, we are going to be dodging some raindrops when working outside, and we've got a lot to do. This time of the season, it's, it's crazy. Uh, we're going to be thinning some seedlings of tomatoes that we started a couple weeks ago. We'll be outside in the garden teaching you how to start things earlier than most gardeners do. And I'm going to tell you how you can ask me a garden question via the web. So let's get started. Uh, these tomato seedlings, we did, we planted them a couple weeks ago, and uh, there's always going to be seeds popping up here. So when they're this small, it's a perfect time to thin them out. And it, it's as simple as this. We're just going to grab it from the top of the plant and just gently pull it out. And then when I put it back down in here, I'm going to put it down a little deeper. That's all there is to it. And now each plant will have its own little container, and that's what we want. We want to lift from where the leaves are and not damage the stem. I, I just love how each one of these seedlings looks a little bit different. Sometimes they have uh, the seed coat still attached to them. They wrap around each other. Now we got to mark them though. Because if we don't mark them, we're never going to remember what's what. Okay, we're going to work on this for a little while, get everything split up, and then we're going to go outside in the garden and get all the cold weather crops in the ground. While we're actually burning up in the greenhouse, it's good to get the jacket off. We're going to talk about getting some plants in the garden a little earlier than normal. Most people wait until after frost, which is in May, maybe around Mother's Day. We're in the second week of April right now, and there are some plants that love this cool weather, and we're going to get those in the ground in a minute, but before we do, I've got to tell you about one of the wonders of spring, which is species tulips. They're smaller than the normal tulips that we're used to seeing, and they're just to die for. They're reliable perennials. They come back year after year, and I just can't get enough of them. The deer, though, have even come in this close to the house and started to nibble on them, but I've got a couple blooms down here. Uh, let's go out to the vegetable garden and get this stuff planted, and that's the fun part of gardening. Are you ready for the fun part, the planting? Uh, what I've got here are broccoli, cabbage, celery, and lots of different lettuces. They thrive in cool weather. Uh, the frost isn't going to bother them, but I've got some things to protect them too, because it's, it's going to get cold again. Uh, I've got a couple beds. We're going to work around the garden and get stuff planted. This bed's been worked up since last fall, and I think I got everything I need. This is the one thing I'm not going to need is this jacket. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this straw off the bed. And that was put here to keep this nice soil in place. And the first thing I'm going to plant is celery. Uh, I love celery and from the garden it's just like everything else from the garden. It's a completely different animal. Uh, so much better. And for the most part I don't think we're going to have to do much digging here at all. Look at how loose that is. That's nice. But I brought some compost from the compost pile that we're going to uh, add in here. And I've got, let's see how many plants. Six plants, and that looks about right. Let's see what it says on here. Matures in nine to 120, 90 to 120 days. Nine to 120 days. <laughs> no, it's actually 90. Uh, let's see how far to, doesn't say how far. Well, we're gonna guess. We're gonna say, I don't know, eight inches, 10 inches. It'll be fine. And uh, let me start off with my planting holes. That looks good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of stagger them here. So I've got three holes here, and now these holes will be right in front. Hopefully these plants will get just to the right size. Well, they'll shade out everything else in here. We don't have to worry about the weeds, but we're also going to mulch. And I'm just going to throw a handful of compost in there to help it out. There's always all sorts of stuff in this compost, too. It comes out of the kitchen and Every once in a while you'll find a fork in here. <laughs> and this will get the plants off to a good start. I'm also going to put uh, a little bit of this fertilizer in. I love this organic fertilizer. It's called Revita. And uh, it's about 20 bucks a bag, 50 pound bag. That's definitely cheaper than you're going to get anything else. And uh, it's basically dried chicken manure. And we're just going to sprinkle a little bit on here. It can't hurt, that's for sure. And this organic stuff, you don't have to worry, it's not going to burn anything. 
you just want to have enough on here, the plants will uptake everything that they can get. You put too much in, the plant can't take it up. So we're just putting a little bit on, and now we just put our plants in. And we we'll push a little bit from the bottom, and let's see what kind of shape the, oh, those look perfect. Those look great. They're not, uh, you know, they're not all root bound. It looks great. Okay, let's get them in. And uh, they're gonna be great. There we go. We're gonna put some of this mulch that we took off on here, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more. Mulch is important, especially early in the spring. You're gonna save all that spring moisture that uh, that's coming down in the form of rain. All right, got a knife here, good. All right, I'm gonna run over and get this bale of straw, which should have been here, but I didn't put it here. <laughs> this will also keep the weeds down, which is great. Celery also likes it wet. So we are going to keep watering this during the summer when we need to. Gonna water them in. As soon as I'm done planting, that's when I want to water. I don't want to plant this whole flat and then water. Each one, when they go in, each six pack goes in, gets watered, gets them off to a good start. Okay, we're off to the next bed. One small problem, I can't find my trowel. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let's go plant. <laughs> <laughs> 